Hey, yo, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy, Christian Miller. Welcome back to another episode of Life in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Here with me is Mr. Stilo, the General Manager of Great Future Nigeria Limited, and we are here to talk about the flights. Of course, we all know that flights has been, again, uh, suspended from Nigeria to UAE, but... Most of us now that has the visa, what is the alternative? That is the question. You understand? What, what, what's it, what do you want to do? Are you, do you want to stay in Nigeria to where your, your visa expires? As actually, my message is for people that has already a visa that want to travel from Nigeria to UAE. Now they are being afraid because, because a lot of things that they are talking on uh, Facebook is that uh, people we are sent back all those things? But the truth is that if you follow the protocol, if you follow the 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 guidelines, yes, you if you follow the guideline and go through Cotonou or Ghana, you will arrive safely in Dubai. A lot of people are doing it and they are coming in. So, in order for us waiting for flight to resume and your visa is getting expired, it's better you take uh, the another alternative. And here with me is a ticketing agency and also a, tra a tourism company uh, owner. And this is the general manager, Great Future Consultant, right? So, yeah, sure. Uh, welcome to the show, Mr. Stilo. Yeah, uh, Emilio, thank you very much for bringing me up to the show. I'm so glad. Uh, it's uh, a, a good day and a wonderful day. You know, uh, we in Nigeria now... Uh, we still deal with the traffic, so I'm still on the way. So I had to pack for us to uh, to move on with the show. Yeah, I'm yeah. glad to be here to speak a bit about mm -hmm. uh, the travel, the travel to to Dubai. Yeah, we were all jubilating as of uh, last week that uh, when uh, the news was up that on the 23rd flight will start coming in. But unfortunately, yesterday we got another news that, uh, for some reasons which we don't know yet, that uh, there is still a ban for Nigerians to travel from Nigeria. But nevertheless, there is still hope for those who already have visas. So yeah. Kotonou is just about uh, 31 hour drive from uh, Lagos. So if you want to travel, Let's get right in. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'll be asking Mr. Stilo a few questions. But before then, I want you guys to, uh, if you're watching me right now, you can kindly, and if you're new in my channel, kindly don't forget to subscribe and also always try to like my video. That is the only a gift you can give to me. So ladies and gentlemen, I'll be giving you tips on why uh, we actually want to talk about this. Uh, when I posted it on Facebook, a lot of people were asking me, why are we going to discuss about it? Are we the Nigeria government? Are we the person that we open the bar? Is the ban, is the discussion actually going to uh, make the UAE to leave the ban? The answer is actually no, but uh, we have an idea to share with you. And that is why if there is no communication, there will be no understanding. And most information which you're supposed to know, you might not be able to privilege to know it. So that is why a uh, person like me, uh, we, I created this channel so that I can give out the little mm -hmm. information which I have. And now I want to give out, I want us to know the estimates for those of us that is willing to go through Kotonou or even those of you that want to do new visas, that want to go through a uh, neighboring country, go through Kotonou. Now I will be giving you the estimates so that you won't be cheated by anyone or you won't be uh scanned by anyone so we'll be giving you the estimate of the money you will be spending within the period of you staying seven days 14 days in Cotonou and also with your flight tickets going to from Cotonou to UAE so that is the main aim of doing this video so uh, please if you have any question you uh you can kindly uh comment at the at the at the comment section if you have anything that has to do with the flight or a uh, UAE that you want to know about, drop it at the comment section and uh, Mr. Stilo will be the one answering every question. I might contribute, mm -hmm. but he's the main person that will be answering your question today. So let's get 
uh, to the work. Uh, Mr. Stilo, first of all, you are yes, a ticketing sir. agency. Yeah, you are a ticketing uh, agency, not just not just uh, to Dubai, but you are a ticketing agency to other countries, Canada, America, uh, UK. You have been in the system for a very long time now. And uh, how do you think that, do you actually advise people to, to people that has visa or people that are willing to make new visa, do you advise them to, to go through the Republic or go through Kotu? Okay, now I, I'll come again. My name is Stanley Owuna Chimerimeze. Uh, I'm the Managing Director, Great Future Consultants Limited. We are located at, uh, our offices are located at Ikeja, Lagos. Uh, we were speaking about Dubai trip. Yeah, our, our company is uh, into travel, uh, travel and tour, not just, uh, not just ticketing, but we consult for tourism. We consult for travel. We consult for study abroad programs too. We have some schools abroad all over the world, which we represent in Nigeria here. Then uh, we could advise you and um, prepare you for travels because one pro one of the problems Nigerians have is that we don't plan. We always want to come wake up this morning. I have I have money and I want to travel and this is where I want to go. You like it when you get passport, you give someone your passport who you don't even know, who doesn't even have an office and you expect to get magic. No, visas are, 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 being, uh, are being approved by each country, depending on where you want to travel. So now for Dubai, since, um, since uh, there is a ban from Nigeria, we've had our, our, our passengers travel from Kotonou. Kotonou is a, uh, is a neighboring country. And uh, like I said earlier, it's just uh, about an hour drive from Lagos, and uh, when you get it wrong is when uh, uh, when you happen to not to go through the right link. So there is no big deal. Kotonou and Nigeria is the same thing. It's just a border, just a cross border that is uh, dividing us. So we we plan for you. We, we prepare you. We help you cross. You stamp your passport. You're going to stamp your passport. So there is no problem if anybody who already has visa who cannot wait for the ban to lift, you can travel from Kotonou. If you still want to do your visa now, you're welcome. There is no problem, no cause for alarm. Stress-free. That's it. Okay. Uh, right now, you... you what you totally said in conclusion is that uh, people can actually go through Kotonu without any stress. Yeah. And for yeah. me, uh, for me, that is already in Dubai. I can confirm that people are being received from uh, Kotonu and Ghana to Dubai. So now it's not about now the traveling. Now I'm getting into the prices because a lot of people use this period, use this period to scam other people in that because. I've, I've sometimes I'm just checking the Facebook groups and I normally see comments uh, how to travel to Kotonou. They'll DM me, you know, you will see like 20 people asking to DM me. And at the end, all these people do not really have that, uh, that, uh, you, they, they can only call on phone. Hey, I want, I'm sending you somebody, you understand? So at the end, this person will cut his share, this one will cut his share. This, but before you know, the person has spent a lot of money. That was why from the beginning, I advised a lot of my subscribers that hasn't uh, gotten a visa. I told them to wait until the flight is, will resume before uh, they will start applying for visa because I, know, I don't want them to go through that stress of spending almost 100,000 euros for just uh, crossing from Cotonou to Nigeria. And uh, at the end, maybe they will not have enough money for them to stay in this year and look for jobs. So... I want them to actually know the 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 breakdown the process the process. All right, all right, it's okay. Um, actually, uh, if we are, we are going to break it down in two, if if you want to try, if you want to get into Kotonu as um an ordinary person, you don't. Let's assume you you don't have enough money. There are two ways to get into Kotonu. You can go through the sea, and you can go to the land. If you want to go through the sea, 
you just get to CMS. When you get to CMS, you take a ferry. There is a ferry that is going to take you direct into Port Novo with about 3,500 to 4,000 Naira. Mm -hmm. Then if you want to go by land and uh, 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 you, you, you can jump buses, when you, if you want to jump buses, from if, if you find your way to Iyanoba, from Iyanoba to Badagri is about not up to 1,000 Naira. From Badagri to, to the border is not up to 1,000 Naira. Then provided you have your passport, you could just walk through the border, go and stamp your passport. If you don't want to go from the border there, you could get taxi that will take you inside Kotonu for 10,000 sefa. The only thing you have to do extra is just to pay to stamp because uh, uh, because your passport, if your passport is a virgin passport, maybe you pay extra 2,000 naira to cross. Then if you want to, you could even go as far as taking Uber direct from your location in Lagos down to the border. Then you get cabs. We have people, we have people who will call, who will pick you up from the border, who is going to cross you and take you to the hotel where you are going to stay. So no, with wait, wait, wait. I want to I want to, okay. I want to ask a question. Now you right. make uh, you make a reference of uh, a, a cab that will take you to a hotel where they are going to stay. Now I learned like in like uh, some months ago that some people were complaining that the cab people that they normally take uh, they normally take people to to hotel they, they, it was arranged. You understand that the cab person would just we go to the hotel and tell the hotel person how much we charge the, the, the client and after you will come back and take their money. So how uh, that, how will that, you address that? that? That is when when you don't that is why I said like when I, I said earlier that you plan your travel. We we make these plans down. We have our people because they need your money. The hotels need your money. The cabman needs your money. So, but when you go the wrong way, they know they're not going to meet you. But for us, they know they're going to meet us. We are going to be bringing them uh, business. Even when the band is up, people travel, people come in from Kotonu, people leave from Kotonu with or without this band. So they cannot fail us. They take their own transportation to lead you to our hotels, which we are going to let them know, this is where we want you to drop these people. They'll pick you up. Then if you don't even have money, you just want to cross, you want to cross by bike, we still have bike people who is going to cross you for just 3,000, 3,500 to 4,000 Naira. They will cross you to the other side of the border. Then you take your normal bus, to a normal bus, public bus, to where you are going to for 500 sefa, 600 sefa, maximum 1,000 sefa if you are going to the airport. So uh, I think uh, everybody have gotten that very clear that uh, we explain it again. He is actually saying that if you come into Kotonu, that you don't actually need a specific taxi to take you to anywhere, that you can actually yeah. jump into any taxi there. But the basic tips is the tips, uh, tips is there is that uh, you don't have to make them know say you'll be foreigner or you don't know. In border, you know, say I don't border before. I don't get Kotonu before now. Understand? Yeah, yeah. So you don't have yeah. to make them believe that you are a Nigerian and you have the money. Understand? Yeah. You have to make them believe that you are within. You are within them. Understand? So if then, even if you can speak Yoruba, most of them understand Yoruba. Just uh, that we, we understand. Before you know, you just cry. But if you try to bring that Nigerian nationality inside, uh, outside you and try to be like you are a foreigner and try to play small. That is when they start scamming you. So that's you, know, you, know, you, know, you know, some of us, some of us, when we hear we want to travel, when we want to travel, we we'll tint our hair, we we'll yeah. squeeze our hair, we we'll wear our baggies and all that. You know, that, those are, you are calling attention. You are calling unnecessary attention. You who is traveling to Dubai to hustle, you are going to work. You are going to, it's not easy. You are going to work. Dubai is work, work, work. Work, if you don't work, you don't make money. So why will you be wanting to spend? Why would you call attraction to yourself? 
So you dress normal. So, wait, wait. How do you how how do you want them to dress now in your own picture now? How you tell me how you want them to dress now? Because you just, most of them you are willing really to. You just dress simple. Just dress simple. Look at it as if you are going to the next. You are just going to visit Kotonu. Because there, there are people who come to Kotonu to buy rice, who buy who buy rice, who buy uh, granite oil and all that. You are you trying to tell me that they harass them? No. Okay. Now, but when now you want they, to they... show them, you want to want to show them. Yes, I'm going abroad. You have money. Mm. Then they want to eat. Okay, now, what you are trying to say is that once they get to the border, they should not bring the fact that they are going to Dubai. That They should not express that that they are going no. to Dubai. Yeah. You know? They should just yeah, be yeah, like they are coming for Kotonu yeah. to see, or to buy market, to buy pass, or to see sure. somebody, you know, a lot of things like that. Sure, sure, sure. So basically, let me tell you guys what they're doing in Kotonu. In case if you want to go to Kotonu, you can just say... I want to see my friend that is studying in Hudebwe, North American University. Write it down somewhere. <laughs> Write it down somewhere. Just say you want to go and see your friend that is studying in Hudebwe, North American University. Or you can tell them that you want to go and see, uh, or you want to go and, 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 and have a price of car. Uh, I think that one is okay. Or you want to it's just it's say anything. You want to go to Topa no, Market. No, no, the, the you want to go to Mr. Bo. The truth is, if you don't want, if you don't want, we have bikes, we have good bikes who are reliable, who you just pay, stress free. If they will help okay, you stop you your say you have, me, I don't you have, have good bike. You, you have any bike contacts in that place? You have? Yeah, I have a lot. I have a lot. Okay. I have a okay. lot. Okay. Even in the immigrations, we have immigration officers who are going to help you, pass you through, very easy and. Stress free, stress free. Trust me. My my, just, my most concern is about. I'm not talking about stress. -free. I'm talking about the money part because what I'm bringing you no, here no, is because no, I don't that, I don't that, want my I don't want them to actually spend that a lot of money. Understand? That, that, so that is why I I've, I broke it down. Options. It yeah. depends on how you want it. If you want to go by bike, fine. If you want to walk, fine. If you want by cab, fine. It's your option. So which option do you actually? Uh, uh, no, I'll, I'll, prefer, I'll prefer for convenience and uh, stress free. I'll prefer you go by taxi. When you get when when you go by uh, maybe by bus or by taxi to to the border. When you get to the border, a taxi will pick you up, cross you, stamp your passport, then take you to your hotel before you plan for your COVID nineteen. Okay, okay. Now uh, apart from hotel. Do you, do you actually have a place that they can stay without uh, spending hotel money? Wow. We have to spend money. You know Kotonu is money. You know that. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> you just have I'm, just, I'm just asking. You, it's just a question. Have, you have to spend money. But okay, now, we... let's, let's, let's talk about the rate now. Let's talk, let's talk about the rate now, the, the money. Okay. The, the money now. Mm -hmm. if, if, they, if, they, if they get to Kotonu now, huh? And uh, mm -hmm. how much could be the cheapest hotel? As yeah, now? the cheapest because uh, for now, for now you're looking at ten thousand sefer, which is about ten thousand naira. Ten thousand naira for the cheapest hotel. So yeah, ten thousand naira times fourteen spend... days. Yeah. yeah. But That's but there, we have we have some arrangement too. We could make to backdate to backdate. Oh, apart from the ten thousand so far, because I thought they uh, they could get um, a hotel at least five thousand so far, something like that, cheaper than that. Mm -hmm. Just you know, this is not a place uh, that unless, for unless the just places for... you could get. The places you could get a uh, hotel for five thousand so far is you are looking at Zongo, and Zongo is a bit rough. What about uh, there's some hotels in Ekbe, uh, and there's some others in uh, Sekanji. Pekadis, oh, you can yes. in second You can't see any hotel in Pekadis less than ten thousand sefa. Okay, trust me. Okay. You can't see any hotel in Pekadis ten thousand sefa. But in some cases, when we have uh, two, three passengers, you guys could share a hotel room. A share a hotel room. Okay, okay, okay. I think that one is better. Like if there are like uh, three three people that can share a hotel room. Yeah, they could share they could share a hotel room. Okay. So what about the COVID nineteen test? How do they go about the COVID nineteen? Yeah, the COVID uh, the COVID nineteen test for for Kotonu now is for 
seventy-five thousand sefa, which is uh, which is seventy-five thousand naira now. The same rate. Yeah, naira and sefa. No, naira are, don't are, follow. Because I remember no, no, no. when I was in Cotonou, one thousand naira was about three thousand sefa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But maybe our fault. Now, so now, so we see him. So okay, now. so we said five thousand seven. You could uh, get your you, you could get you could get your uh, COVID nineteen test done. Okay, okay, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, please, if you are joining us for the first time, we are discussing about flights, how to uh, relocate from Nigeria to UAE without uh, taking Nigeria routes. You can go through Kotonou border. And here is a is a, a managing director of a great future, uh, Kozatat Nigeria Limited. Uh, he has been in, in tourism in tourism uh, field for a very long time now. He does not do just Dubai; he's do a lot of countries. But we will get to that. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like this video. And if you have any question, please be here with me. We'll be answering every question that you are dropping in this comment section. So just wait and. Once we get the information you need, we answer every question that you have. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're planning to go to Cotonou, like I've always said, understand, let it be that you are prepared because do not use the money that you feel like you are coming here to use in search of job. Because, like I always say, you have to have a strong 1,000 safer with you when you are coming to UAE. That one is for in case if you have a job that needs an agent fee agent money. So you should not, that one should not be a part of saying you want to spend them for Kotonou. You understand? If you don't have the money, you have to look for it because once your visa is ready, you just need to leave the country. Again, and you cannot come to this country and start to, here not be a place where you say, you could say you can stay anywhere. You, you go for straight you, you get. So you need to plan yourself very well before leaving. And if you have not applied your visa, try to make your plan very unique because leaving your country to another man's land and without planning, if you like say you want to travel from now from uh Enugu to Abuja, you want to travel. You are going to another man's country and it's not easy surviving there without family. You get you have to pay at the beginning if you come on tourist visa you have to pay for your best place, pay you have to cut out for yourself your food and uh, luckily if you got a job then you can uh, company will locate you to the accommodation, then the, your expenses have reduced. So what am I trying to say? Going through Kotonou is another option, but for the people that has the money, let's just put it like that. I'll be there right now. If you don't have the money, then you should not apply the visa. If you, you have just have the money to apply for visa and to book for Kotonou tickets and you don't have the money to when you come to UAE, you better you leave it until your money is complete. Understand so that there won't be yeah, yeah. a mistake. I, I didn't mention flight flight from flight from Kotono, you should be looking between three hundred to five hundred thousand, depending on when you are traveling. You should be looking between three hundred, three fifty, four hundred, five hundred, five fifty thousand. Yeah. See? Ethiopia so, goes Ethiopia goes and uh, sky uh, uh, sky goes. So it's a bit on the high side. So you have to be prepared. If you want to go, you have to be prepared. You have to have money. You have to be prepared to go. If you don't have money, it's better we wait for the band. We'll keep praying. And I, I believe yeah. Nigerian government are pressing, trying to make sure we get it right. Because I got something to share with you guys so that you won't be uh, depressed with this information or be uh, say that they're not like you or something like that. This ban was not just for Nigeria. They did not suspend just Nigeria. They suspended Nigeria, they suspended South Africa, and India also was suspended. So the three flights that they resumed at that particular moment was suspended. You get it. So it's not just Nigeria. If, if it was only Nigeria, you would say, okay, it would be like saying, I just us, now they see this bad person. That is bad. But it's not just us. They suspended us, they suspended South Africa, and the three flights that were resumed at that particular time was totally suspended. So there's no flight. There's no flight. And also Pakistan also, there's no flight from Pakistan. There's no flight from Bangladesh. There's no flight from Philippines. There's no flight from other, 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 other countries. So it is basically the national something. It's not just for, it's not just, uh, for Nigerians to get. So, and that is it. And also, we, sh we Nigeria should also try to build up a good image because already we don't damage this country very well. Just last week, 
I don't know whether you watched that video that uh, they were fighting in Chaja and a lot of blood matches in so so many. I, don't, I believe that they have seen the most mostly they have seen the, the video and like as usual, we have already painted ourselves in that bad uh, bad image again. So and also don't forget on COVID nineteen tests, you are meant to make a COVID nineteen test twice before departure. First, your first time on arrival. Then the second one will be before departure. So if you are if you are to leave, once you enter Cotonou, you have to make a COVID-19 test. Then if you are leaving, you have to make another COVID-19 test before departure. So that is the protocol you have to follow. And so that you will come at the Nigeria, uh, you will come at the Dubai airport and they repatriate you or take you back to Nigeria. You start feeling safe, but you fail the, the process you get. So that's just it. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Amigo. I'm so glad to be in the show, and I hope you're going to invite me more to be in the show. We'll have a lot yeah, to talk about. Uh, okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you have a friend that wants to travel to uh, London or want to go to anywhere, ladies and gentlemen, we'll bring in a show to you on how the process is. That will be, we'll talk about that and know when we'll schedule the, the, the show. So that you can carry, uh, you, you will discuss about uh, going to, uh, uh, to the UK, uh, London, to the right? US, UK. Australia, yeah. Canada, UK, Australia, Canada, Schengen countries, Poland, Germany, Italy. We could we could talk about all that. There's a lot to talk about. Travel is plan. Okay. Plan is travel. Okay, uh, I think we have uh, we have uh, totally estimated the the, the cost of uh, living from Nigeria to Kotonou and from Kotonou to to Dubai. Basically, food in in Kotonou is not expensive, so you can just spend uh, five thousand naira in food with, within fourteen days. Now, five thousand okay yes, for food. Sure. Yes, sir. So, yeah, sure. So that just is. so, ladies and gentlemen. Here, don't forget. I forgot, uh, my Jojo was supposed to be on this show, but uh, he couldn't make it because he was handling something. So he couldn't be on this show, but hopefully in my next show, he will be here live. Or maybe I will be in the show, so depending. So, But he couldn't make it today, uh, but hopefully uh, he will make it the next time. So that's it. So, uh, Mr. Stiller, thank you so much for joining me. And thank you. Bye. Thank you so I hope to meet you some other time. Uh, Take you. care, Mr. Emilio. Oh. Uh, bye. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, now I want to discuss with you guys as uh, as my brothers, as my people, and as families. Now, a lot of things don't happen for this country. A lot of things have happened in UAE, which is bringing us down. Understand? Which, if not because the, the, the South African and the uh, and uh, this uh, Indian was uh, banned. You get Indian uh, visa was banned. Indian visa was banned. Uh, I, I would have said that is because of what happened in Georgia that caused it, but automatically it's not because of it. It is a general something. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me break down your question and I will answer every question which you have. Uh, Please, can I chat you up on WhatsApp? I have visa, but I want to. Okay, there's no problem. That is not a problem. Secondly, I hear of people doing uh, uh, back dating on their passport in order to bless uh, the members of the state. They will end up there. I don't really understand this question. I heard that people are backdating on their passports in order to uh, lessen the number of their days they would end up staying. How important is this? Well, uh, you guys you got to come with your question very clear uh, at day one day. Uh, you have to come with your question very clear so that I can understand what you are saying. COVID-19 test is uh, 150K, okay? 150K, but it said...
No, he's talked about that COVID-19 test is 70, I think 70,000 naira. That is uh, from Cotonou, COVID-19 test, 70,000 naira for COVID-19 test in Cotonou, not in Nigeria, in Cotonou. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are leaving Cotonou, like I always said, I want to say this now, if you are going through Cotonou, if you are going through Cotonou, make sure you have, do not spend the money that you're supposed to use here for your best space and for your job search in Cotonou. If you don't have the complete money, wait until the flight will resume. Definitely the flight will resume. But if your visa is ready and you don't have option, then you have to take the next route, that is Cotonou. But if your visa uh, is, if you don't have a visa yet, UAE is not the wrong. UAE is still here. Understand? UAE is still here. So you should wait until flight resume. Flight will resume uh, definitely very soon. Understand? Flight will resume very soon. And I, I will commend anybody that don't have a visa yet to wait until the flight resume before uh, making any uh, step coming. Unless you have the money to spend, because going through Cotonou will cost you a lot of money. And as I'm going through Cotonou, will cost you a lot of money. People that actually need to go through Cotonou are for people that has, uh, that maybe their job is at stake, they have job already, they are working, they just want to, a place to come back to their company. Yes, they can go through Cotonou, but if you are coming for the first time, the money is too much to spend. I'm telling you the honest truth, it's too much to spend. That is why I normally, advise people to wait until if you don't have a visa yet if you have a visa fine you can go through Cotonou, but the, you guys should be ready to spend a certain amount of money you get please so uh, uh, bro any hope of uh, flight resuming yes mr dominic there's a lot of hope of flight resuming understand for the fact that they've put a uh, further notice further notice can be tomorrow further notice can be today Understand. So, for the further put, uh, the the flight remains as penalty. Further notice does not mean that it's till next year. The further notice can be tomorrow. Further notice can be, uh, can be less than two hours from now. So, just depend on. But I know, I believe something is telling me say, from now before this month will run out, there will be a good result. For those of you that believe, if you believe me, can I hear amen? So ladies and gentlemen, do not lose hope. No, do not lose hope. I had a lot of people say their flight, the, the their visa was expired and and uh, a lot of things. They said a lot of things. But the only thing I have to say, me, myself, I cannot really uh, tell you uh, anything. But I also have to say that anything that you need, you must go for it. Again, for the first say you know what now does not mean saying I have village to wake or some. Again, it's not your village people. Understand? So maybe basically at that particular moment, maybe something is not right with your travel. You get so within that period of the flight uh, suspension, you have to fix that which is not right. So uh, I guess uh, that was the message, and I want you to just take that as an encouragement, so that you won't uh, lose hope or be depressed because of what is happening. Fine, and we all have a task to follow. I posted the video last time. Try to advise Africans on how uh, they should promote the good part of us instead of complaining. Okay, fine. Something happened in Chaja. Uh, they were they were fighting. There were all these things. Fine, it happened. What? Okay, you are complaining. And uh, Nigeria is bad. African do this. African do that. The question is, what have you contributed? Have you ever tried to post on on, uh, on awareness on social media trying to? Bring yourself as the good person because listen, whether you like it or not, as long as you're an African, as long as you're an African, I see some Cameroon people ask, telling me, why should I have to put a Cameroon picture? Why should I have to put a Ghanaian picture? You know, because they, they believe that Cameroon, you know, they do that kind of thing. Listen, anything that have affect a Nigerian, anything that affect Nigerians, affect the whole of Africa. And if the whole of Africa feel like they cannot, they, they don't want to fight it because it is not their nationality. When if, when these repercussions come, they are all going to chop it because of waiting. Every African, as long as you have a black skin, you are considered as a Nigerian. And just don't 
quote me anywhere, go to any company, find any comp any any place that Nigerians had problem in that company, they will not take any Africans because a Nigerian has a problem, meaning they recognize every every nationality that is black skin as a Nigerian. And that is why you yourself, instead of you to say, uh, remove a Cameroon picture, remove Ghana picture, why don't you just listen to the message and spread the, the news? Understand? So if I said you should post hashtag say no to courtism in UAE, how does that relate to you? It is for you fighting what is happening, fighting the showing that you are the good side of uh, of African because believe me or not it takes a lot of hard work explanation it takes a lot of things for you to actually prove to them now that you are actually the good side of Africa you are actually a better side of Africa it takes a lot it takes a lot of hard work understand you got to stress yourself to believe to make them believe say, you can actually handle this as a Nigerian and it takes them too much observing, watching, and you know, a lot of things for them to actually believe that you are a good Nigerian or a good African. So this thing is not an, an, a Nigerian thing. Don't take it like a Nigerian thing. This is an African issue that we need to solve. You get? So if we all close eyes and say, okay, fine. Me, I'm, I'm working, I'm, I'm having my money, you know, I'm being paid every month, I have my personal business. Okay, what is my business with people that is fighting? At the end, when the team will rotate, eh? when the clock hand will rotate, it's going to touch everybody one after the other as long as you hear the name Africa. So that is why you and I have to start fighting this and let the people know that we are part of the good side of Africa. That even if one person committed a crime today, does not mean that the whole of Nigeria said this. And that is why you should be the one, we should be the one promoting the good side of Nigeria instead of complaining. Once you see a video, you will see people posting it online, posting it on Facebook. It's a stunning image more than it's. Because what you do, okay, uh, you, you, they fight each other. Once you know, they share it in like 50 groups. Those 50 groups maybe have like two, two, three, three other nationalities in that group. They will take it and share it in their own nationality group. Before you know, this thing has circulated to everywhere. And at the end, before you talk, they will tell you that, is it not Nigerian people fighting each other? You African people, too much problem. At the end, this is, you think that you are, you, you are being good by spreading the flying. Instead of you, even if you want to share the, the message, cut it very short and give out the positive side. You know, make them understand that these people cannot be even be part of it. You know, you have to present the good side of you. That is the message. That is what you need to present, not uh, see what in our people they do, see what in our people for change that they do, that they fight to, okay, today they, you will start, see what they do, tomorrow they will fight, you you will post it again. So the, tomorrow, next morning, you will keep complaining until, what is the solution? You know, that is just it, my brothers and sisters. So if you cannot fight it, don't post it. If you cannot actually fight it, don't post it. Do not share it anywhere. If you get the message, just keep up on your phone or delete them. You get this is is causing more damage than good. I didn't post the video on my YouTube, and a lot of people were telling me, uh, "Where is the video?" I just take them cash crews. Where is the video? Did you listen to the message instead of you asking for the video? Did you get the message? What I the message I was trying to pass? You are asking for a video that is against even the the YouTube. Uh, uh, community policies against it. So posting that kind of uh, video in YouTube, my even I might be blocked from YouTube. You get? So that's just it. We should try to to create something good for ourselves, and that is a good name that we need to create. So if you are in Nigeria and you are planning to travel to UAE and your visa uh, is still uh, you have not applied your visa, don't apply. If you have not applied your visa, don't apply. Wait until you fly to Zoom. Understand? Because why I normally say you are not the road. And especially the price of Kotonu is too high for people that is coming to look for a job, sincerely speaking. Unless you have the money to spend. If you have the money to spend, no Allah, call me. Understand? If you have the money to spend, call me. But 
it's not advisable. As soon as it's coming here to us, it simply means you don't have enough. As long as you are coming here to us, you will get understand. So why are you going to continue to spend a lot of money? Even if you want to, you you have visa already. Okay, fine. You have a visa and you need before your visa expires, you want to leave. Understand? But that does not mean that you will just uh, you will uh, what what they call it. You will make visa and think that you can just. Uh, work up past Cotonou, fly counter spending, you will spend up to more than even 200,000 naira in Cotonou. You start. So you just have to be very, very careful. And also, if you have a, if you have a family in Benin Republic on, on, uh, on the Benin Republic and Ghana that you will spend your place, you will, you will stay with, or you have friends that you can stay with, fine. Very good. You can spend your time with your friends then. Uh, you don't have to spend money in hotels. So, that is it. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget my name is Chris Amil, and here we'll bring you everything that has to do with Dubai United Arab Emirates with the jobs and employment. Please, if you haven't liked this video since you are watching, kindly click that like button. It's very, very important for me. And uh, the person that joined me, uh, that left, was the Mr. Stanley Auna, the general manager of. Uh, a great future uh, consultancy in Nigeria Limited. And uh, my George was supposed to be part of the show, but he couldn't make it. So we have to uh, reschedule the meeting or the show for another day. So, but already the information has been passed out and the estimate have been given out. So if you are still willing to go through Cotonou, this is it. I believe the, 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 the mission, the prices that you, that you pay, it, or the money that you pay, or how to go to Cotonou. Me, myself, I've stayed in Cotonou before. I've stayed in Benin Republic before. So I know a lot of more, uh, more things about Cotonou, but I don't, I don't want to, I know why I normally advise people against that, because I know it's going to cost a lot of money. And once it costs a lot of money, what about the person coming here? If you come here, wait till you go to take a look for job. If you use like two hundred, spend like hundred thousand naira, really spend hundred thousand naira for Cotonou. That hundred thousand naira is the money that you're supposed to use here to look for job. That you are supposed to pay agency to help you look for job, secure job here. Understand? So, if you have not applied for visa, my advice for you is to keep waiting. For those of you that are always listening to me, I want to really appreciate you for keep listening to me because it is not easy to actually believe in somebody. I have few of them, few fans that actually believe in me, so I really appreciate and thank you guys for always being there for me. So I'm giving everybody that commented here uh, on my show a shout out. Uh, Alan, thank you for joining. Uh, Mr. Ninja, thank you for joining. Jenny, Josh, thank you for joining. And uh, Dominic, thank you for joining. Uh, Jeff Martins, thank you for joining. Jeff Matthias, thank you for joining. Uh, Adewale, thank you for joining. Prince Eze, thank you for joining. And everybody have joined me. OTYB Marketplace, thank you for joining. And uh, everybody that have been in this show with me, thank you for joining. Farah, Farah thank you for joining me. Uh, God bless. God bless you, my dear Mr. Chris. Thanks for your feedback. For installing people, people. Thank you so much, Mr. Adewale. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, here we normally do this show like this every every week. That is every Tuesday. In case if you are meeting me for the first time or if you are joining my show for the first time. It is every week. Why I normally post my daily uh, videos, maybe every two, three days. Sometimes I post every day, depending on how the spirit leads. So that's just it. So, but if you want to know most things that you want to know about UAE, is already in my channel. If you want to know about your contract, if you are working in UAE and you have a problem that you want to solve, kindly go to my channel. I have a playlist that is uh, Dubai updates is already in my channel playlist. You can go there. And you watch every single thing that you see there has a message for you, has uh, an open eye for you. You have once you are in my cha in my channel, it's clearly that you won't miss a step trying to come to you. You won't make a mistake trying to come to you. 
And that was the reason why this channel was created. So ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris Miller. If I'm meeting for the first time, I normally say this is so that the name will clock for your head. <laughs> you get so every time when I say my name is Chris Emilio, I believe say if you don't see my face, you're gonna not say my name is Chris Emilio. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, I think we are coming to the end of this show. Uh, but first of all, we'll go on a break, then when we come back then, say goodbye. Open. Now that's a word that hasn't been used much in the world these days, huh? Well, open is looking good for Dubai right now, and we want to tell the world about it. It's open for business, of course, and a wealth of opportunities for the future. And there's literally hundreds of doors open to some of the best hotels you'll ever see. Oh, and the world's tallest building? Yep, that's open too. But this city is also open for fun. It's open for happy. Open for crazy. Even the slopes are open. It's open for a guaranteed suntan and a dip in its beautiful, clear, warm waters. It's open for the arts and Arabian culture that you really need to experience. Which means it's open for bucket lists too. But if opening boxes is all you want to do, there's more of that than you can possibly imagine. There's out in the open air, across open water, or if you just want to hit the open road full of hope and optimism, this is an open society. So it's up to you. This city has its arms wide open, and they're open for you. You get it? I think you do. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for watching my show. Thank you for always tuning in. God bless you. And always know that one day I'm going to be I'm going to be surprising everybody as long as your comments is in my channel. Understand? One day I will check from the beginning of my show to today, and one person will be surprised because it's not easy to keep a uh, no matter how your data, some people normally say, why are you wasting our time? Because a lot of time you spend your data to watch me. So I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And also remain blessed. And don't forget, if you have any question to ask me, if you have any uh, entry to ask regarding Dubai, you have an issue, drop it at the comment section. If you need my number, comment at the comment section. I will simply give you my number. And if you need any assistance, don't forget, Drop it at the comment section and I will reply you. My name is Chris Amilo. Don't forget, tomorrow my video will be dropping. Another story will be dropping. For those of you that my, is my super story friend, I had somebody that uh, started me with a story and the story is about how he came to UAE and started freshly and alongside, you know, he got issue with his company and at the end, you no, know, there was a, a lot of uh, misunderstanding with the person who did visa for him and the rest. And at the end, he actually, need, you know, now I want to talk about this a little here because a lot of times people come to UAE and they feel like, like I always say, UAE, nobody is made. You don't come to UAE and say, I've made it. Understand? You don't, you are not made in UAE. The UAE government programmed this country in a way that it can favor both the rich and the poor. That's why you can go to the, to the mall and you see somebody wearing Kandora, that white gun, and you will see somebody that works in the construction buying the same thing because the thing, the, they can actually afford what anybody can afford. So everybody can afford the same thing. So that is what some people don't understand that they come to you with Nigeria mentality and they felt like if I don't climb to the top, I no need person will help me again. Again, you feel like once once you are big, you know you don't need you don't need that you don't need the person that actually pushed you to the big. You feel like you can actually trust the person, and at the end, when the clock rolls and you you see yourself at the floor, the only person that might be in the position to help you might be the person where you don't trust. This year, nobody is made. You might be see yourself say you don't today you are okay you are you know you are getting a good salary just little thing that will happen you don't see yourself or some place that you don't you cannot imagine so it is better that you keep uh if you happens to be a person that has the chance of getting a good person that sponsor you to dubai why can't you maintain that relationship maintain that relationship with that person keep that relationship do not say because I say I don't finally get a job or blah, 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 because of he, 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 
he, now I have a job. He cannot do anything for me. I, I, after all, my visa status have changed from his uh, from his uh, visa to employment visa. Therefore, I don't need him. See, this world run like a cycle. Understand? Like I always say, once you fall down, it might be the only person that will be in a position to help you. It might be that person where you don't trust. It might be that person where you don't trust. So therefore, if you have a good agency out there, any agency out there that actually put his mind to help you come to you, you that's why he said other people they scam, but he did not scam you. He actually gave you up what he he asked you. Why don't you give him one or two appreciation? You know, why don't you actually give him the credit of him being that person that God sent to help you? Because God knows that from heaven they, they bring down for hand hand for earth to help somebody. It's actually somebody that is the cause for another person. Like God actually made a man a cause to his fellow man. I don't know whether you understand that. Therefore, God gave man power to be in charge of his fellow man, like to be responsible to be responsible to his fellow human being. Like if God gave me a blessing today, that blessing that God gave to me is actually meant to help somebody that is that needs that needs it. You get it? so if God actually sends somebody to bless you, you feel like it's by your power or it's by uh, one uh, pastor way there from Nigeria where if he's in the they pray for you, where do it for you. Nobody do it except God. Somebody have already called me one day in this Dubai and tell me that even his pastor uh, told him not to come to Dubai. But I told him to come. He came and he's working. He's doing fine. So therefore, for me, I believe, say, you have a personal covenant with God. You don't have personal covenant with um, your fellow man. You get it. So what you do is this. If anybody, I'm talking about the, 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 the service, I don't know how to push it because if somebody, if we are talking about help that somebody actually, even if the person did not remove their money for pockets, you understand? use their money to sponsor a visa or something like that, as long as the person actually did what you guys bargain, give him the credit. A lot of times, it normally happens that a lot of people will, will do visa and they come to UAE and they go to maybe see traveling just that they do visa, social amount, and they'll be like, hi, right, this guy, excuse me, did that traveling agency it's not paying electric, it's not paying a house rent, or it's not paying a electric car bill, or it's not, I don't have a family to feed. Understand? So, you don't talk about, say, uh, because an African making, 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 making cut in neck give you because they're an African. Say, African, you no, know, they like to help African. Excuse me. Excuse me. Understand? So, African, so as an African, you Ingo Ingo cutting hair give you because he's an African in his business, like what he's eating, what as in what gives him money, what you normally use in feeding his children that you want him to come and carry him that shoe because you're an African or you're in Nigeria or you feel say, you understand? Let's think about it. So, ladies and gentlemen, you if you cannot if you cannot cope. See, let me tell you something. As long as you leave Nigeria to UAE, whether the person the this, the the person charge you one million for visa or charge you ten million for visa or charge you twenty million for visa, as long as you leave UAE and come to Nigeria, as long as you leave Nigeria and come to UAE, you get a job, start working, forget, remove that particular thing for your mind, and focus on your future. Because if you stay, ah, uh, this one doing this one, before you know, enmity will start coming. And it, there will be a time that you need something. Something is hooking you, and this person is the person that actually have the solution to that problem. But because I say you don't, you don't, you don't make them. Uh, you, you don't already break the relationship you have with the person. You can no longer concern the person. So what am I trying to say? We should all try to be a human being instead of being an animal. Understand? That is why some people in, in Nigeria, that's why, 
you know, let me not talk about hard word here because you don't, it, it will not sound good because if, ladies and gentlemen, it's about Christian Miller. Here I will bring you everything that has to do with the buying that Arab email with the jobs and employment. Me personally, I don't have anything to give you. This is why the top format now. That is the end I can give you. You cannot chat me on, on my WhatsApp and tell me to give me money. I don't have money to give you. So it is what I have I give to you. And I do not, I'm not doing any video for you to actually like or for you to actually, you know, what you don't like, another person might like it. And that is why anything that comes to my mind, I say it. Because you might not like it, but somebody else might like it. You get it? So it's not about you being... Uh, it's, it's not about you being part of the channel, but it's about you learning something from the channel. Like I always say, if you're part of this channel and this every video that I'm doing is not educating you, then you shouldn't be here because this video that I'm doing might not be for you. I actually do video for a particular set of people, and that is people that want to have knowledge about UAE and Dubai. So if you feel like you are not in the league to that that needs the information or needs the knowledge of Dubai, then you shouldn't be here. And that is the circle. You get it. So that's just it. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is uh, the end of this video. So if you want to join the movement of hashtag um, uh, let's uh, send out to courtism in UAE, you can go to on the Twitter. Go to our Twitter handle at Voice of Nigerians in Dubai. Follow the, the, the Twitter handle. You can, there's a picture there that states send out to UAE. I've used it on, on my YouTube video before. So you can copy the picture. Then make, if you don't want to make a video, just make a post, then use the hashtag and uh, uh, send out to courtism in UAE, then tag. Uh, tag Nigeria, Voice of Nigerians in Dubai. You can tag me also at Chris Amilo Dubai, DXB. At Chris, Amilo, Chris underscore Emilo underscore DXB. That is my handle on Twitter. You can also tag me and I will also repost it. If I could get at least 10 people that made this post, I will, I will screenshot it, I will video shot it and post it on YouTube so that it can also encourage that people to do. This is a movement, a movement to, to restore your dignity as an African. It's not just for Nigerians. If you cannot follow this movement, then you should not be complaining. If anything that you don't, you cannot bring a solution to, don't complain about it. Okay. So the only solution that we can provide for ourselves is to make sure that we create the awareness that we are not part of what is happening. And that is the only thing I start saying to courtism in UAE. Use it on Twitter, you can use it on Facebook, you can tag me. If you don't want to tag me, fine, or use the hashtag. My name is Christian Milo, and I think this is the end of this video. See you guys next week, and also don't forget to keep supporting me. If you see my video, always like. Before you even start watching the video, like this, because now you're like, where we say they put, you, they put my video on top. Okay, if you don't like my video, YouTube will just put my video for under, under the table. Understand because I felt like the content is not good for the audience. But if you are, if you are liking my video, you are giving the the, the YouTube enough uh, reason to put my video at the top. So thank you guys and God bless. Thank you.